Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple video player interface in Photoshop to bring it into Flash and also just teach you the basics of how to import Photoshop graphics into Flash. So I'm going to create a new layer here and I'm going to call it Video Holder. This is just going to be a placeholder uh, to represent where our video will be inside of Flash. So I'm going to set my foreground color to black and just select the regular rectangle tool and I want this third button up here selected to give me just regular pixels and highlight the layer and just drag it out at any size. Now hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail to select the rectangle. Go to control T to free transform and for the width type in 320px for the height 240px for pixels. And if you don't put the px in there Photoshop will assume you're talking about a percentage which is not what we want. Okay, let me center this up now on my document. Now I want to start making the interface, so I want to put a new layer under this layer. So I'm going to hold the control key down, click the new layer button, and I'm going to call this interface. Okay, so now I want to come and grab the rounded rectangle tool. Again, keep that third button click for pixels, and I'm going to keep the radius at the default and I'm going to choose a light blue color for my foreground. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag it out approximately where I want my interface to be. Something like that. Okay, so now it's just giving me a flat, unshaded, rounded rectangle. Well, I want to add a highlight to this. So I'm going to copy this layer by hitting Control J. Now hold the Control key down and click on the thumbnail. Now I want to fill this with white. Since white is my background, I can hit Control Backspace to fill it with white. Control T to go to Free Transform. Now hold the Alt key down and drag in the sides. Holding the Alt key down will make it come in from both sides equally. All right, so let me deselect that. And I'm going to nudge this down a little bit just so the top gets a little lip there. Something like that. Okay, now I want to add a layer mask to this. Click the Layer Mask button and grab the gradient tool and I'm just going to select a simple black to white gradient that you'll find in here and it should be the default. Now holding the shift key down to keep it straight I'm just going to drag down and actually no I need to drag up. So there we go something like that and you can just keep dragging as much as you want to try and get exactly what you're looking for. So now it's going to give me this plastic look I'm going to lower the opacity down just to where I want it Right, something like that. So now I want to work on that interface layer below it to finish it off. So I'm going to double click to open the layer styles. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an outer glow. And in order to see it, I need to change the blend mode to multiply. And I'm just going to choose a dark blue color. And you can see what's already happening there is I have a nice kind of soft uh, border around the outside. Let me just play with some of these sliders. And this is just a nicer alternative than using just the regular stroke. And this makes it look more realistic. Okay, now the next thing I want to add is an inner glow. Watch what happens as soon as I select it. Boom, you see that little lip now that's going all the way around the outside. And it really gives it a good looking depth. So I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm just going to lower the opacity. And for me, playing around with all these sliders, is more trial and error than actual uh, solid knowledge of what all these do. And I kind of just play around with them until I get the look I'm looking for. So I'm going to change the size just to give me the right size lip. Something like that. Uh, click OK. So there we go. So now we have a kind of plastic looking interface for our video player. So now I want to knock out this video center. So hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail. I'm going to turn the visibility off. Now go to that layer mask of my highlight with black as the foreground. Hit Alt Backspace to knock it out. Now I want to knock this out of the interface. Just add a new layer mask and hold down the Alt key. It will now add a layer mask that knocks out that center. So now you see the highlights are on both sides, the inside and the outside. and It looks really nice. And let me toggle this. This is how it's going to look once it's in flash. 
Okay, so now I want to come over and I want to turn off the visibility of the background layer so it's transparent. And I'm just going to drag out a selection where I want it to be cropped. And I'm just going to go to Image, Crop, just to crop it up. And now we're ready to export it. So I'm going to go to File, Save for the Web. And now the Save for the Web dialog box comes up way too big. So let me resize it. And from here, you want to select Ping 24 from this pull down. And if you want transparency, you need to make sure the transparency checkbox is checked or else it'll export with a white background. So now this thing is ready to go. So I'm going to click Save. And I'm just going to save it out as player.ping. Okay. And yes, I want to override it. Okay, so here we go. Now we have our transparent ping player interface. And we can go over to Flash and import this. Okay, here we are in Flash, and I've just created a new document and created just a simple FLV video. Uh, and if you follow the Video Basic series, you know all about this. So I want to create a new layer here and call it Interface. And this is the layer that's going to contain our Photoshop graphic, our ping. And we're going to bring it right over the top of this video. So highlight the first keyframe, go to File, Import, Import to Stage or you can hit control R for short. And now I'm just going to select that player.ping, click open, and there it is. It's brought it in with transparency. It's over the top of my video. So let me center it over the video now. And I can just nudge this up. Okay, one thing to notice if I zoom in close in here, that outer glow, since it's come in with transparency, it's now laying over the top of my video and it makes it kind of look realistic like the video is supposed to be there. And that would have been really hard to do just using the drawing tools in Flash. Okay, now I can go out and we can test it to see what this looks like. I'm going to hit Control Enter to test the movie. And here we go, our video is playing. And you see, there's that dark kind of glow over our video. And it really makes the video look like it's, as if it's part of this interface. So you can now go ahead and flash and make your controls over the top of this. Or go back to Photoshop, just creating new layers and create your play and pause buttons and other controls.